good morning happy sunday to everybody out there um we were gonna go with morph mondays but uh seeing as though how busy my week is uh we're gonna bump that up to morph sundays i think for now uh, one of the trickiest things to do with the reticulated pythons is being able to uh, look at the snake and decide all right what is it all right so yeah we're going to give you that it's difficult but we're going to try to make this a little bit simpler for you we'll go ahead and cover a morph uh, every weekend if we can uh, bear with me though it uh, it might be uh, every other weekend or so if I have it, it's definitely going to be a lot easier. But I will tell you that one that I do not have right now is the anthrax gene. I pretty much got the rest of them, but uh, anthrax, I may have to buy one just so I can do this video. I don't see a problem in that. All right, first one we're going to talk about, platinum. Uh, platinum, some people refer to it as fire. So... It is an enhancer gene. It actually, there's subtle changes in the pattern of the snake, but what it does the most is brings out the yellows in the, in the python. Now, the bad part of it is sometimes when it hatches, it's hard to distinguish whether it's a platinum or a normal. Um, from what I understand, the yellows is what really comes out on the platinums. So, when you look at a retic, and as they get older, I'm telling you, the yellows really start going in. I don't know if you can tell with this video. This is a straight up platinum. This is Phoebe. She is actually going to be, uh, hopefully, paired up with, um, I'm thinking, either a Motley Tiger or a... Um, what was my other pairing? Phantom Platinum Tiger, which would give me Phantom Ivories. Now, that's the cool thing about this gene. If you were to mix two Platinums, all of your Platinums do have two possibilities on offspring. You have the Ivories and you have the Leucistics. So, just because it's Platinum, they might be, I'm sorry, not Ivories, the Ultras. So there is just another thing to confuse you even more. But to give you an idea, if you were to pair a Platinum to a Platinum, you would get this guy right here, which is an Ivory. So the reason I went with the Platinums first is because there are... A little bit confusing but there again platinum is an enhancer gene it brings out the yellows it does have the two possibilities in there the ultras or the leucistics and i may be wrong with that it may be the ivory and leucistic so that's something i might need to check on as well but an absolutely beautiful animal and the older they get the bigger they get the more the lemon glow really starts coming out so just a beautiful snake and hopefully that helps you out with the Platinums a little bit. I have an idea for next week's. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And I'm actually waiting on her to shed so we can get a really good visual as to what to look for on that, on that uh, morph. So, if you guys have any questions about the, fa or the Platinums, let me know and I'll try to get it figured out. And hope you enjoyed Odessa. Beautiful. Platinum retic. There again, platinums at, uh, at birth or hatch, kind of hard to tell from the normals. They do have the, uh, the blue or the slate colors on the side as well. But there again, with it being an enhancer gene, bringing out different colors and a little subtle changes in the pattern, kind of hard to tell. So... Let me know what you guys think of the very first Morph Sunday. And hopefully that has answered some of y'all's questions. If not, we'll just go ahead and say I suck. That's all I can tell you. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great week. 
make sure you get out and do something productive. I'm tired of y'all sitting on the couch. I don't know what I'm going to do with you guys. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.